What is going on guys, it is Bucky here and welcome to your very first tutorial in Coco's 2D for the iPhone. Now, in case you just clicked on this tutorial and have no idea what Coco's 2D is whatsoever, Coco's 2D is a framework that you can put in your program and it pretty much pretty much allows you to create 2D games. That's mainly what people use it for. Now, I know you can create 2D games with you know just the basic tools in Objective-C and the frameworks that the iPhone has on it already but 2D's game or excuse me Coco's 2D allows you to make your games much better this uh, includes things such as animations uh, sprites of course cool menus special effects and pretty much anyone who's serious about making games for the iPhone they always I don't want to say always they usually start with Coco's 2D because it's such a powerful tool and best of all it's free. So the first thing I want to teach you guys how to do is actually how to get this and maybe if you go to the website you'll see a little clearer what I'm talking about. So what you need to do is there are a bunch of frameworks which is pretty much like built in methods that you can use already on the iPhone. but this is a different framework we actually need to download this and put it on our iPhone so that anyone who's using our project or playing our game has access to it so here is how not only downloading this framework but here's pretty much if you come across any framework that you want to download here's what you need to do so go ahead and we already know the name of this it's Cocos 2D so just go ahead search for it in Google and click on the first one that pops up now as I said there are Cocos 2D um, you know for regular computer applications and there's also a special Cocos 2D for the iPhone so make sure you're getting Cocos 2D for the iPhone and not for you know just a Mac or any other computer program you're building so go ahead and click Cocos 2D for the iPhone and it'll take you to the sweet special website now of course if you want to learn a little more about it or what games are being made with this you can go ahead and search around but what we're worried about right now is downloading the framework itself now again like I said whenever anyone says framework it pretty much means a bunch of built-in methods that people made that you have access to so instead of having to you know create your own method for special type of animation there's already one in here for creating basic animations so anyways with that being said what you want to do once you're in this download page is download the latest stable version and it'll probably be one of the top um, links so go ahead and click this right here I already have it downloaded so no need to download it twice but once you download it let me exit out of Chrome it's gonna go into your download folders right here and let's see mine is Oh yeah, I forgot. I already dragged mine out here. But anyways, it's going to be in here and just double click it. So you already have mine that I dragged out right here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and double click this and you see unarchiving. This pretty much means unzipping if you're familiar with Windows. So it pretty much takes it in a tiny package and turns it into a folder that you can use. And here is the folder right over here. It's called Cocos 2D iPhone. Uh, minus 0 0.99.4 or you probably have a different version if you're watching this tutorial later on but anyways the basics are still going to apply so this is probably the first thing that you want to do just to make sure you have everything downloaded alright open your folder right here and you're going to have a bunch of crap that you don't really know I mean most of this is just text files um, and read me's and stuff but anyways what you want to look for is this Xcode project go ahead and double click this and a project is gonna open up let's go ahead and X out of that now this is pretty much the default um, Xcode project with all the built-in samples showing you what Cocos 2D is capable of now again like I said you just need to download it you don't need to do any of this but if you wanna view the examples of what it's actually capable of here's what you need to do go ahead and first before you do anything just go ahead and build and run it and what this is gonna do is it's gonna compile everything and this pretty much is just converting code to you can understand to code the computer can understand and it just needs to do this one time and it's gonna have a bunch of errors because this isn't anything we built um, this is 
a bunch of built-in samples so don't even worry about these errors we just want to compile everything um, I don't even know if I really want to get into this but I mean if you want to check out the examples here's what you need to do anyways what you have to worry about is you're gonna get a bunch of warnings and errors don't worry about it at all they're just compilation errors and you know don't worry about it so now once everything is compiled and you get a bunch of errors and warnings and stuff we can now actually view some examples so if you're saying alright you told me there are like a hundred different examples how do I get to them well in order to get to them check this out go to project set active target and see how it's on build all test you don't want to do it you don't want to build all test every time so go ahead and just click on chipmunk or anything or anything besides build all test you pretty much just want to get it away from building all test now what you need to do is click on the project you wanna test out so project set active executable and this pretty much means what program do you want to run and let's just go to you know anyone chipmunk testbed and make sure it's on the iPhone simulator and make sure this is set to simulator right here simulator and now we can go ahead and build and run this and after uh, this stops freezing hopefully we can see a little tester project start running so there we go here is our first hopefully it runs there we go so here is you know an example of what it can do cool little animation right there alright now let's go ahead and click one more project um, set active executable I don't know let's go draw one I didn't do it um box 2d testbed let's see what this one does again all this is doing is pretty much um showing you what Coco Studio is capable of um I don't know character collision right there and you can press over this and you know see some different examples and these are programs that you're going to be able to build with Coco Studio but anyways that's 